sister. I've always known you were the funniest one in the family. I wish we could have sung more comedic roles together. <laughs> I wish the Schumanns could have been here to witness such an incredible performance. They would have been very proud of you, Pauline. You truly are incredible. Indeed. Good show, sister. Good show. The party scene was particularly good. Brahms, should we go see what Clara's up to? Even after my death, you were able to create such wonderful art. I only wished I had lived long enough to direct a show by your side. It was an honor to be your husband and partner in life. My heart aches whenever I hear my words brought to life with your music. An afterlife without you, my love, is torture. I still believe that I did the right things for Pauline as a trusted mentor and fellow composer. But I'm not sure anymore. What do you think, old friend? I mean, you usually have all the answers. I think that the two of us arguing over who taught her better is irrelevant. Her genius is her own. Pauline, I know I wasn't a perfect father, but I am proud of the woman you became. I'm proud of all of you. Hearing your music once again brought me back to our many wonderful discussions about our work and art form. Thank you for almost making me feel alive again, my dear friend. Merci beaucoup, my beloveds. The journey has been arduous, rewarding, and with nary a dull moment. May my verses and melodies continue to embolden uplift and inspire for generations to come. announcing the arrival of His Royal Highness. Let's go meet him.
Ah, how annoying. Too small. Ah, still too small. That's amazing. My shoemaker always tells me that I have a foot as dainty as a doe. Well, there you are. There's nothing doughing this evening. Ugh. Oh, what a pretty little foot. Too narrow. Oh. Are you sure? Yes, sir, but don't blame me. Oh, a little Andalusian foot. Can't get the boot into it. Ah, this time it's going to. Ah, but the heel won't go in. It's swollen this evening. I danced so much. <laughs> Come, miss, try a bit harder. Don't lose heart. No way, it's still too small. That's not a lady's shoe, that's a ridiculous boot! My lord, I've checked them all, but with no success. Alas, she didn't come. But hold on, I remember a third girl I registered in the Pictordu household. Is she your sister? <laughs> My lord, I... <laughs> Is she your sister. Yeah. I mean, I, yes, my lord, but... Where is she? Oh. She must be in the kitchen. The kitchen? <laughs> that is not her place. Count Baragul, go and find her and bring her here. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a sure step. Oh, my sweet beloved, come to the palace which shall be your home henceforth. What is this, my lord? Are you a prince? First Hondrian is not worthy of such a destiny. Nothing is too good for you, my darling. <laughs> All that I possess I lay at your feet forevermore. We're, We're very, very fond of you, close. little sister. Yeah, yeah. My daughter, my darling daughter. Your lordship? Call me